let's uh, work from the top left here. We got diaspora alpha. So there you go. That shows that it's in alpha of alpha mode right now until they uh, get it, release it publicly. If you click the diaspora name here, it'll bring you to your kind of home screen where you're looking at that right now. You can also click the home button over here, right here, and that will also take you to the same place. No different at all. So whichever one is easiest for you, wherever your mouse is closer, click that. It'll bring you back home to your screen here. Um, if Okay, so let's move on to the search screen here. Now this is really neat. Um, up here you can just search for people you know. Let's try um, Ubuntu Vancouver. I heard they have, oh, there they are. So let's add Ubuntu Vancouver. And over here again, there, we'll call them a, for now, um, I haven't added a new aspect, which I'll talk about in a second. But for right now, let's just add them under uh, friends. That's the Ubuntu Vancouver group. And did that. And let's go back. Again, you can also, instead of clicking back, you can just push the home button. That's fine, too. Um, okay, so under the search field, you just let me search for a username, Ubuntu Vancouver. You can also search for people by name. Uh, let's try, see if we can find a guy named Randall Ross. I think, he, yep, there he is. Okay, he's all, he's actually one of the guys working with the Ubuntu Vancouver group. So I could add him just by searching for his name. If I knew his username, uh, my mom is out there. I know her username is mom out there. There you go. I could search for her that way. So you can search by username or by name. You can also search uh, with a hashtag for topics that you're interested in. So type a hashtag and then let's choose for example, um, what's an interesting topic? How about um, uh, vegetarian? Vegetarian. I don't know. Who knows? Let's see what's out there. Oh, and there is one. Okay, neat. So you could now, let's just say I wanted to follow vegetarian. I would just click this button right here, follow vegetarian. And you'll see it change to a green color. Now you're following vegetarian. What does that mean? Uh, you can click your home button now. Go back to your familiar home area. And you'll look on, down on the left side. Now there's a little hashtag vegetarian word there. This is always conveniently available to you to follow. So you just click this now and you can go and see what's going on in the world of vegetarian. And there are all the people who are following and there's all the stuff going on. Now anytime that you post something, let's go back to our home screen. Anytime that you post something with the word a vegetarian, um, I'm just doing a video screen cast and demonstrating the word uh, vegetarian. And now I'm going to share that. And there we go. Spam Man is doing some stuff. Now if you go back here to your home, let's click that again, vegetarian. And you'll see that Spam Man's post is now nicely listed under that group. All those people are watching that word and everything I just posted showed up under that. So you can have a running dialogue with everybody in this group just by simply typing a hashtag in anything that you're posting under your main stream here from your home page. So always take advantage of that. Always type a hashtag and let other people find what you're writing. Um, okay, so we've talked about that. Now let's look at the contacts here. So you can look up here, we got contacts. Um, I don't, oh there we go, I've added these people as I've demonstrated earlier. They're now under my contact list. But let's just say that Ubuntu Vancouver doesn't really fit well under the aspects that are here, under family, friends, work, and acquaintances. What I need to do is add a new aspect. So let's do that. Let's call it the um, uh, local communities aspect. Uh, let's create that. And what I want to do, there we go. Local communities has showed up under my contacts. This is a new aspect. So I want to add Ubuntu Vancouver now under local communities. And that makes more sense for that. I'm going to actually remove it from friends now. That makes more sense, right? It's a local community in Vancouver, so there you go. Now it shows Ubuntu Vancouver, the local communities. Okay, so that's how the contacts work. Now you can also click a message and send a message um, that's also up here with this envelope icon. And let's say I want to send a message to uh, 
this guy. I just clicked him under my con let me, let me show you again what I did there. Uh, I want to I want to send a message to Wayne Taylor, so I click his link, and then you'll see the over here. There's two options. You can mention him or you can message him. If I message him, it's just a straight message. So hi. Uh, let's do a subject. Hi, Wayne. Howdy. So now this is just sending. It's like an email, but it's going through the uh, through the diaspora. He'll also get an email notification if he's signed up to do that. And now you can see the conversations are starting to appear. So there's a, a conversation between Wayne and Spam Man. Okay. So let's go back to contacts to clean that up a bit. And now actually I'll I'll click the um I'll click the the envelope icon actually and you can see it here it is here you can see this conversation now has started so you can create a new message by clicking this button or by clicking create a new message over here so let's do that. let's create a new message I didn't have enough to say to him so I'm going to try again Wayne Taylor uh, oh, Wayne Taylor let's click that there we go and uh, make sure it's blue like that and in a nice circle otherwise it might not get to the person uh, there it is, another test message. Howdy. Send it. Okay, so now there's a dialogue again. So you can start the message either by clicking new message or by clicking that link I just showed you. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the contacts. Hopefully you can navigate around that. Um, notifications are um, are also available. I'm just waiting for this server. I'm going to And sorry about that. We had a small glitch in the video. Um, okay, so I've showed you the messages and uh, how you can communicate with the contacts in your contacts. And uh, now let's look at notifications. There's one right there. You can see it's a red color under no notifications. So let's take a look at that. Just click that little satellite-looking thing, and you'll see um, something that look, will look familiar to many of you. Looks like the design of a certain other um, social network. Um, so it'll pop down again. My internet's having issues tonight, so I'm sorry about that. Um, this little box here will pop down all of your notifications, and there it is. The uh, notification is right there. Wayne Taylor started sharing with you. So you have two choices here how to interact with this part. You can uh, just click the link and go to that user, or you can go up here and click View All. View All is pretty neat. If there were other days there, it would show up underneath in chronological order in a nice visual uh, way. Really neat, actually. I like this part. Um, okay, so now you've uh, seen notifications. Pretty straightforward. Um, and uh, what else can we say about this? Okay, so now you want to go up to your profile settings. So under here, you'll see your little icon guy. Click that, and you'll see your profile is the first setting. Let's click that and take a look and see what's under there. So there is all that stuff that I entered when I started up my account. But on the left, you'll see the basic uh, bio. Uh, so this is the stuff that you entered. You can always edit this; it's no big deal. Um, but if you had all, if you had followed the instructions when you started your account, you wouldn't have to be doing that right now. But let's just say you don't like it; no problem. Just go up here and click Edit My Profile, and then go ahead and change it. I am a man of much spam, spam me, baby. Oh yes, spam me again. So I've just changed that. I'm going to update that. You can update your photo or whatever you need to do. That's usually what people use this area for, keeping their photo up to date. And uh, that'll eventually, when my internet kicks in, that'll work. Um, so now your profiles, let's take a, let's just wait for that. And there we go. The profile is updated. Okay. So if you go back to your profile again, it should show that new change. There it is right there. Oh yes, spam me again. Uh, so now you want to check the next thing under your profile, which is the settings button. And here is where you can change your password. That's straightforward. You can also change your language. I'm studying Korean, so you can find it down here. Amazing amount of languages, actually. I was quite surprised. And then just click change language, and you'll see your entire interface will change uh, to the language that you prefer. So be sure to do that if you're not of the say English variety. So if you're not English and you're happen to be Korean, there it is. It all is is right there. All in Korean. How handy dandy. So we got your uh Dai Diaspora Hindu. Nice. Okay, so you got it all in the language of your choice. 
if you if you made a mistake, no problem. Just go in there and find English or whatever language and click a button beside it again and everything will go back to English. All right. So that would be the uh, settings area. You can there's also these um buttons here where you can also connect to Facebook or Twitter applications though obviously people will be writing applications for this in the future so you can add those in as well and again your profile um, so all that is found under your settings okay so that's pretty much it and that is the uh, I want to show one more thing here before I sh uh, end this uh, familiarization to on the right side you'll see a feedback button here that's always hanging around you want to click that and if you ever have an issue wherever you are it's always there available to talk about your issue and send it to the diaspora people so they can uh, work on fixing it pretty neat I like that there as well and don't forget uh, go back to your home page and you want to invite all of your friends because a social network is nothing without people so go ahead and go back to your home page and then click the uh, over on the right side here you can invite people by email uh, that's one way to do it and then you just write in your email address of people you want to show up and then um, you can also put uh, you can also do it by f uh, Facebook here I haven't tried that and then um, everything else on the right side there self-explanatory so hope you've uh, hope this has been helpful for you help you get going and uh, look forward to seeing you guys all in diaspora thank you very much